In Exodus uh, chapter 14, this is where we see the Israelites leaving Egypt. And, and, and as they were leaving Egypt and, and they had left at this point in time, then Pharaoh wakes up to the reality that they are not there anymore and that they don't have slaves. Uh, work has now stopped because all the children of Israel had left. And then he says to his men, he says, no, 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 no. We need to chase after these people and we need to get them back. Um, we can't allow, this was a very horrible decision that we have made. We need to get them back. And so they make a decision to chase after them. And as they chase after them, and now we, the, the Israelites were just before the Red Sea. And I just want us to pause for a moment at, at this, is that all of us have some Pharaoh that is chasing us. And all of us are a slave to something. You, you know what your Egypt is. You know what your Pharaoh is. You know what is this past that you're running away that keeps chasing you. You're trying to give your life to God. You're trying to start afresh. But there's this past that keeps chasing you and wants you back. And you find yourself caught up between two mountains and the Red Sea and the past chasing you. So, you know, when, when some of us are at this point that the Israelites are finding themselves in, some of us actually give up on life. And, and some even uh, reach a point where they say, maybe the way out of this is for me to go back to Pharaoh because at least I can get to live. But God says, no. God allows you to go through certain experiences so that he can drown that which is chasing you. And God parts the sea. So I want to say that it does not matter what you are going through. It might look like it's overwhelming. It might look like it's the end of the road. It might look like there is no way out of here. And, and you feel like, what am I going to do? And because you're so caught up in the problem in the what. But I want you to remember that God is looking in the why. God is concerned about the purpose of this problem. May the good Lord bless you, brothers and sisters, and may you remember that there is a purpose for whatever problem that you're going through, and God is faithful. Amen.